Just four more days until the 2020 legislative session begins. Lawmakers will all be back in town on Monday with some major changes coming out of last year's session. What can we expect to see this year? House Speaker Scott Begke stopped by the KTVB studios today to tell us some of the priorities the legislature has in mind. Misty Inglet breaks it down what some of those key issues are going to be. Misty. Well, Carolyn, he identified six main priorities for 2020, which include areas like education, funding for both public transportation and for Medicaid, and also taking care of what he calls legislative housekeeping. In 2019, Governor Brad Little cut 75% of Idaho's regulations and rules, making it the least regulated state in the U.S. Those decisions came after the rules were not reviewed by the legislature last session. House Speaker Scott Bedke says that's because there was an argument between the House and Senate over how to review them, so it was tabled. Going into 2020, Bedke says they have to fix that and get back to taking a hard look at the regulations that affect Idahoans every day. Well, here was the basic rub, is that rules have the full force and effect of law. All laws have to pass both the House and the Senate and should it not be so for rules. Another key priority for Bedke in 2020 will be addressing rising property taxes. In many cases, growth is not paying for growth. And so we've got to come up with a way where people's property taxes are not doubling every seven or eight years because that is an unsustainable rate. While Bedke says he doesn't know what those solutions look like yet, it's an important issue that will have a legislative dialogue this session. Another popular topic of discussion across Idaho in recent months has been redistricting, a process that takes place every 10 years after the census. While Bedke expects the conversation to come up this session, he hopes that no changes are made. What I'm concerned about is that the lines would be more easily drawn with fewer districts than with the 35 that we're all accustomed to right now. And so if the, the plan came forward with with 30 legislative districts or 32 legislative districts, that would mean that our, that our legislative districts, particularly in rural Idaho, would have to get larger geographically and that would uh, dilute the representation. Now, as far as education, Bedke says he doesn't, he doesn't expect Governor Lowell's goal of improving K through three literacy to face any opposition from the legislature this, this session. He also addressed several other topics in his interview this afternoon and went into some detail about those. And Doug Petcash will have that full discussion this Sunday morning on Viewpoint at 6.30 a.m. So be sure oh, to tune in then. That's Carolyn. going to be a good one then. Yep. Misty, we're all about to see what's going to happen once again because this legislative session kicks off this Monday with the Governor's State of the State Address. It's going to start at 1 p.m. and you can watch it right here on KTVB and on our website as well.